Hi there! I am Lolita Marangit Reynolds, an educator at Colo National High School, Teacher One. Because of COVID-19 pandemic, this presentation has been created, and this lesson is for the first grading quarter. But before that, let's take a minute to pray to our Almighty God. Sing Chao. In Vietnamese language, Sing Chao means hello. I am so glad that you are now about to begin your journey as you venture and discover new learning in Asian arts. In this lesson, you will learn about the different art forms, festivals, and theatrical forms in Asia. Please pause the video and kindly grab a pen and notebook to take notes and answer the activities as we go along. Remember, during every activity, you should pause the video. Why should we be interested in studying their art? Good question, right? It is because art shows country's cultural and traditional feeling. It connects our country to another country, people to people. Even though we don't know the language, art can explain the whole story. We Filipinos are familiar with the beautiful art of our country. Let us now compare and contrast Philippines to the art of our neighboring countries and how they preserve their art and value it. Are you ready? Here we go! Welcome to Southeast Asia. Because our topic today is about art of Southeast Asia. An introduction of their art because in reality the art of them are many and we cannot discuss it is in just one session. The contents of this lesson are preliminary activities, objectives, lesson proper, application, and evaluation. At the end of the lesson, the student should be able to A. Identify the different arts and crafts of Southeast Asia. B. Explain the elements and principles of arts used in their arts and crafts inspired by their culture. C. Appreciate the function of their art form. The different key concepts. First, we have cultural understanding, engaging with and analyzing the elements of arts, integration of practice of design, successful learning of the lesson. Please take a moment to read these elements of art and principle of designs because these are present in the art form in our discussion later. These are the principles of designs. Balance, both sides, are symmetrical. Contrast, light versus dark. Emphasis, center of interest. Movement, how the eye moves through the composition. Can create the illusion of action. Rhythm, regular repetition, or alternation in elements to create cohesiveness and interest. Unity, visually pleasing agreement among the elements in a design. It is a feeling that everything in the artwork of artworks together and looks like it fits. Since you have already learned about the seven continents of the world, it grade seven, particularly in Arling Panlipunan. This particular region of Asia is known as Southeast Asia. Let us now review the countries commonly known as Southeast Asia. Try to identify at least seven countries. Your task is to name the countries indicated by the numbers. Please oppose the video. You have 10 minutes to answer this. Two minutes is over. Let us check your answers. The Southeast Asia are Laos, Thailand, Cambodia, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, Vietnam, Brunei, and Philippines. For your information, Singapore is an amalgamation of Malaysian and ethnic Chinese. Malaysia
Malaysia, Brunei, and Indonesia are linguistic, religious, and cultural siblings. Prior to the introductions of Islam and Western colonization, the whole region was influenced in varying degrees by China and India. Except for the Greeks, because we were influenced by Spaniards and Americans. So, we have another activity. Match the art form to its own country. You have one minute to answer this activity. Students, time is over. Let us check your answer. Follow up questions from your previous activity. What do you observe about this sample? You might have different answers, but the obvious answer of this samples are colorful fabric with its design, costume of Muslim and structure. If you got this observation, that is correct. Very good students. Another question. Which element of arts is predominant in each of these examples? In these examples, the dominant elements of arts are different types of lines, colors, shapes, and patterns for the principle of arts. About this question, how did the artist apply unity as one of the principles of design in the artwork? The answer is, an artist uses creativity to combine the elements and principles of art and that is why each design is unique and visually pleasing. Did you get the right answers? If yes, very good and to those who did not answer correctly don't worry we will discuss it later most interesting part of this whole presentation i will show you the various art forms of southeast asia what you are going to do is one choose only one art form from any of the southeast asia countries that we will be discussing very soon Second, after you are done choosing, try to name and describe it specifically to their color, material, and design. Write your answers in your notebook. Are you done answering all those questions by describing all of those what you are going to do now is to match your answer in our discussion right now I will present this our forms country by country Thailand has a fabric called Thai silk the slide reveals the traditional wedding dress made of Thai silk. This silk is produced from the cocoons of silkworms. Korat is the center of the silk industry in Thailand. 
The ganache is one of the best known and most worshipped deities in the Hindu pantheon. The word deities means more than one god. This is usually constructed from wood. It is symbolic for them because it is said to cast away obstacles from their lives. Most families have ganache in their home. Buddhism is believed to have come to what is now Thailand as early as 22 BCE before Common Era. Besides wood, other materials are sometimes used, like brass, bronze, and porcelain, silver, and gold. The concepts of their object or art form is a floral and animal designs, a symbolic for not just Buddhism, Hinduism, but also Islam. The color may vary from the neutral and earth colors of gray, brown and yellow ochre paint, the objects and structures. Lush green moss grew combined with the use of assortment of limestones, clay, sands, and soil as based materials cover brownish ochre walls and the structures. The limestone and clay make a solid base for the object and it is also painted to make it shiny. What is lush? Luxuriant, succulent, tender and juicy. Of vegetation, plants, grasses, etc. How about ochre? Ochre is a natural clay earth pigment which is a mixture of ferric oxide. Welcome to Cambodia. Cambodia, they have a valuable art which is the Angkor Wat. They say this Angkor Wat because this is a symbolic of their religion and this is called the ancient Hindu temple that nearly came to its ruin and reveals the splendor of mere architecture and the advanced civilization of their past. The structure is a tall building of memorials and te temples designed after the motif of the Hinduism, originally dedicated to the Hindu god Vishnu. Although it is no longer an active uh, temple, it serves an, an important tourist attraction in Cambodia. A 15-foot high wall surrounded by a wide moat. A moat is a deep, wide ditch filled with water typically surrounding a fortified medieval town, fortress, or castle as a protection against assault. So that's the function before. Even so, the temple is still majestic architecture. The tower above the main shrine, it reaches nearly 70 feet into the air. This clay, sands, and soils are make the structure to be solid. In the colors are the neutral and earth colors of gray, brown, and yellow ochre paint, the objects, and structure. What is lush? Luxuriant, succulent, tender, and juicy. Of vegetation, plants, grasses, etc. How about ochre? Ochre is a natural clay earth pigment which is a mixture of ferric oxide. Another country, Laos is a mountainous and landlocked country in Southeast Asia and it has long been isolated from the outside world. From Veng Cheng, caves are an extensive network of caves and that served as a hidden city during the Vietnam War. It was a big part of their past culture. And as the Lao woman's ankle long skirt was form is undeniable, but whose patterns are unique to each skirt. Traditional skirt called Sin and is spelled S I N H is a wrap around tube of skirt made of silk, cotton in silk, or cotton only. When wearing an outfit, some are conservative and some are just cast on.
Golden Thread Sato originated in Vietnam. They have a new design and traditional design. Both are adorable and the design is intricate. Hadong, where the center of webbing and sewing culture self one production. The old Changward looms are still used until today, of their weaving patterns containing centuries-old symbols and even characters. Another creation from Vietnam is their Ao Dai, their national costume. It is a tight fitting tonic worn over pantaloons and their conical hat. The design is just a simple linear cat to fit their costume as you can see on the photo. The material is either cell, cotton, and rayon. About their colors, pure white, black, and neutral colors of gray, brown, and ochre are favorites. Originally, Singapore was part of Malaysia. Due to some legal issues arise on 9th August 1965, Singapore separated from Malaysia to become an independent and sovereign state. The separations was the result of the political and economic differences between the ruling parties of Singapore and Malaysia, which created communal tension and resulted in racial riots in July and September 1964. That is why their art is anchored exactly like Malaysia. As of the date of this report, Singapore has been independent from Malaysia for 55 years now. In Malaysia, Bajukurong and Bajumelayo are chosen as national costumes. A Bajukurong is a loose-fitting, full-length dress consisting of skirt and a blouse. The skirt is made from a long cloth with foldings on one side. The blouse is colorless, has long sleeves, and extends to between the hips and knees. The modern bajukurong commonly uses lively colors and geometric patterns. The material of their clothing is either silky thin cotton, semi transparent linen, or polyester. The colors may vary, it's either primary, secondary, and tertiary color. And pastel or some of them. They are harmonized with earth colors and their monochromes. What is the origin of the word Buti? The term Buti is an Indonesian Malay word. Amba means to write in Bati Antitic word, Antiti, which means point, dot, or drop. Ba from Amba, Tik from Titi, that's what it means for It is believed that Indonesian Bati is a native tradition and the motif is called to represent the lotus, a sacred flower in Hindu Buddhist beliefs. Lotus flower as is a symbol of eternity, plenty, and good fortune. Malaysia, Malaysia, and Singapore has common batik designs as geometric motifs, geometric patterns like circle, square, triangle, and the like, while the free designs or organic patterns such as plant shapes or leaves. We've been discussing a lot of art forms from different countries and this time you are going to answer the question. The first question is what types of artworks only belong to Vietnam? Number two, name all the Thailand's forms of art. Number three, please name any other artwork that is unique in each country. Four, how do this differ from each other? The answer of number four question is difference in motifs, texture, and the combination of colors. 
from Tinala to Indonesia, Malaysia, and Singapore but Let's take a look at the summary of South Asian art and then match your answer from question number one to number three. Because number four, I already gave you the answer. I hope you got the right answer, but don't feel bad if not because you have still time to rewind and review this presentation. Now get inspired and enjoy your drawing project. Students, please be guided in knowing your output based on this reference. Craftsmanship 5 for net execution, 4 above average, 3 for adequate, 2 for show some evidence of skill in limited area, and 1 for unable to recognize vulnerability, so on and so forth. Please uh, take more time to read the rubrics. It's time to gather your materials and set up your workspaces. One, you need some pencil and long band paper. Using any available uh, coloring materials like crayons or pastel or color pencils. Number two, Put your name at the top of the paper. Number three, trace or draw on a piece of paper. Four, make sure that your creations will highlight or showcase our country Philippines, tradition or building. How did your drawing project come out? Are you happy with the result? If not, you can start over again if it did not meet your standards after our quiz. Keep your final drawing with you because soon you will submit that project to your subject teacher. Alright, time for another quiz. I have prepared 10 questions for this quiz but since you have been such a great audience, I will reduce only 5 to make it easier for you. Let's start! So let's spin for question number one. It stops to number four, so let's check number four. The question is, prior to the introduction of Islam and Western colonization, the whole region was influenced in varying degrees by China and India. So A, true, B, false. What's your answer? Give you time to think about it. So it's time to answer this. So the answer is letter A. Next question. Next. Okay, so let okay, so let's spin again. So we have question number 10. The country of blank has traditional skirt paired either conservative or casual blouse. A. Thailand. B. Laos. C. Malaysia. So, the answer is letter B. So, proceed now to the next question. Um, spin again. We have question number three. So, the Ganesh is a part of the belief system in what country? A. Malaysia. B. Thailand. C. Indonesia. So, what's the answer? The answer is a letter B. So, who got the correct answer so far? Hmm, very good students if you got uh, correct scores right now. But then let's proceed to the next question. Okay, so let's spin again. So we have number seven. 
Baju Korong and Baju Milayo are the national costume of what country in Southeast Asia? A. Indonesia B. Malaysia C. Thailand What's the answer? The answer is a letter B. Okay, so next question. Okay. Last question. Spin. And we have number nine. Which effects stars is famous in Malaysia, Indonesia, and Singapore consisting of geometric and organic shapes? A. Thaisel, B. Tinalak, C. Krama, D. Pati. Hmm. So, the answer is letter D. Students, thank you that I could be part of your learning experience and I am extremely honored for this opportunity. Thank you for attending and see you in the third session because Mom Casey Labreda will be your teacher in the next session. God bless us all.